What's up everyone? What's up everyone? Hello everyone. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I'm Daniel. I'm here in Iowa. Gold Coast Casino. I'm ready to give you guys another vlog. <laughs> Well, we're off to Reno. It's like 11.40 something in the morning. And it's gonna be a good drive, right Kyle? I hope so. We got our Dutch Bros. <laughs> a very dry, very hot, and very, very nothing. Very nothing, right. Okay. Area 51, here we come. <laughs> Kyle, look at the mountains in the background. There's even a little bit of snow. 479, 465, <laughs> I hate this place. Gas prices, bro. I know. That little patch of snow right there. And it's 90 degrees out here. That's crazy. Look at that view from our hotel room. It's so nice. The fishy. Good morning from Reno, everyone. So we are officially here. It is day one, today is Tuesday, and we're gonna be bowling the Bowler's Journal at 10 a.m. and then we bowl tonight at 9.30 p.m. for team. Um, so Justin, me and my mom Sherry are planning on bowling the Bowler's Journal in a couple of hours. It's going to be a long, long day, um, but looking forward to it. Definitely going to get a nap in somewhere in there. And then tomorrow, Wednesday, is doubles and singles. Looking forward to it. Bowled the tat a couple days ago. Be sure and check out that video on your screen now uh, if you didn't already see it. And I appreciate everybody um, for following along. So now that uh, we are in Reno, we're just gonna have a good time and then fly back home on Thursday afternoon back to Iowa. So we'll see how it goes. Also guys, I wanna warn you, um, there's not gonna be much actually content of me bowling from this uh, trip in Reno, just because USB-C, the rule is they don't allow videoing. And so we'll try and sneak a couple of shots in like we did last year, same thing. And that's why this video is not getting uploaded for an extra week as well, because we have to wait till the conclusion of the event to upload this, or else I might get fined or penalized. And I don't want that to happen, um, just in case I end up doing really well. But I'm gonna give you guys an update every time we're done bowling and walk you guys through what happened and, and just try and explain my thoughts on uh, how they played after we're done bowling every day. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Justin, say hi. Hello. This is Justin. He's from New Mexico. I've known him a long time, and now he bowls for Ottawa. Yeah, yo. Voila. How's that going? It's going great. I really good. enjoyed it. Yeah, I heard that you guys had a really good season, yeah? We did. I mean, we came to Nationals out in Vegas, so. That's right. And did pretty good there, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Top 10. Yeah, that's right. Now we're in Reno, bowling yeah. the, the big boy Nationals, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. We're about to bowl a Bowler's Journal. So we'll see how it goes. Bowler's Journal bound, and then uh, team tonight. Hey guys, it is about 5.30 p.m. and we're getting ready to go bowl the night squad tonight. It starts at 9.30 p.m. So on the doubles and singles pattern with uh, the Bowler's Journal, um, I threw the uh, Idol Cosmos and Zen Master game one and then games two and three I threw the Obsession Tour Pearl. Shot 5.98, um, had a 191 the last game and a 184 start with a 223 in the middle. Um, so overall, you know, not bad, but what happened was 
uh, right before we started practice, I got this really bad pain in my back. And so I'm fighting that right now. I'm hoping and praying that it doesn't affect me tonight while we're bowling. Um, but I think it'll be okay. I just did a ton of stretches, took a nap, and hopefully, hopefully it goes away. Unlike last week, the symmetric stuff was the go-to. Now I think this week it might be asymmetric. We'll see. I was throwing the ball pretty good earlier. I had a couple of errant shots in there that I didn't like, but mostly uh, they were good shots. So I'll take it. And I'm just going to work hard out there and fight through the pain. You know, it's it's all about trying to overcome that at this point so that I can go on and bowl the best that I can and hopefully make some bracket money and hopefully take home uh, a good position in the standings. So we'll see how it goes. Um, hopefully make my spares too. I had three opens in the three games this morning, one each game. We'll see how it goes. Once again, probably can't get a lot of video from the bowling i only got that one video this morning but we'll see how it goes and hopefully can get a couple shots well guys just got done with the chiropractor um back got really bad but they fixed me up two different chiropractors worked on my back and neck and tried to get me back in line one of my ribs was way out of place and so they helped me a ton and uh, helped me get back into place and now it's just time to recover and and go eat dinner and go bowl see you there Sorry, I know the video quality might not be very good right now, but uh, we just got back to the hotel room. It is like 1.20 a.m. Uh, I fell off at the end, uh, opened in the 10th, the last game for 6.15 or 6.14, I can't remember. Still did pretty good overall in brackets, but very frustrated with myself for opening in the 10th, the last game. Just an errant shot. I was battling thumb issues for the last two games, just being able to come out of it because I'm in my biggest switch grip and... It's just not big enough. Shout out to Justin Wedge. Uh, he bowled phenomenal today. He had about 660, high 650s. He did really well and he threw the ball great. So good, good job to him. And he cashed out in brackets pretty well too. So glad for him and hopefully can keep on going well for the rest of the tournament. We got six more games to go tomorrow. Alright guys, so today ends the vlog for Wednesday. In doubles today, I had 573, and in singles I had 640. I threw the Zen Yu the first game, and me and one other guy, shout out to Landon, uh, who bowled really well. Um, we, we piped Zen Yu's down the middle for like, I don't know, four minutes of the six minutes practice that we got, and then my mom and the other guy that we were bowling with, Jeff, um, he, they both burnt the outside of the lane around five. So me and Landon both used our Zen Yus for the first game. And then uh, I went to the Obsession Tour Pearl and Idol Cosmos directly after. And then he went to the 900 Global Exponent, the new ball. And he stayed in that ball for the all five games after the first game with the Zen Yu. And that was impressive because that, that ball looks good. It, it went really well. I think that he beat me in a lot of brackets, unfortunately. Um, but he bowled really well as well. Uh, he shot, you know, a high 650 
for the first three, I believe. And then in singles, he had like 725. So he did a very good job. And my mom didn't do too bad either. Um, we had a really good time and were able to, I, I was able to actually play the lanes honestly how I wanted to. Um, I was trying to hit eight, nine down lane, but the biggest thing is my thumb. So I don't know if you can tell on the video, but right there, there's a spot on my thumb now because my thumb is so swollen that even my largest switch grip that I have uh, could not help me enough. Um, and it rubbed a spot off during the last game, like halfway or three quarters of the way through the very last game today. It peeled off a spot of my skin, and so I had to put some new skin, but I was using Pure Slide the entire day. I'm very thankful that the Brooklyn side was nice to me today. I'm not gonna lie, I had an outrageous number of Brooklyns today because I couldn't get the ball right off my hand because every time I tried, it would stick on my thumb because my thumb was too swollen. So it was very difficult. But, um, you know, after the Cosmos and the Obsession Tour Pearl, I tried the IQ Ruby, it looked good for the second game of singles and then went back to the Obsession Tour Pearl. The right lane was super tight, the left lane was hooking a lot. So, it was difficult to throw the same ball in both lanes, but the last game I tried the Obsession Tour Pearl in both lanes, and it was good. Left a couple seven pins, that sucked, but otherwise it was very good. My all events score for the tournament was 1828, which is plus 28 for the nine games. Um, you know, even with that, you know, struggle bus of a series in there for doubles, uh, this year the scores are quite low, and so that'll cash in the all events for sure, and I'll cash in singles definitely. For now though, uh, now that we've had a full week of travel between Vegas and Reno, we are uh, off to back home tomorrow afternoon. But in the morning, uh, Kyle and I, early in the morning, we're gonna wake up and go to Lake Tahoe, maybe sneak over to the California side and just see what it looks like and, and just have a nice morning and then drive back to the airport. Kyle's gonna drop me off and then drive back to his home in Vegas. So shout out to Kyle for going above and beyond this week. He's amazing and even though he's still technically injured, uh, he's gonna try and bowl tonight. He put himself on the sub board and bought a ball at the pro shop. So we'll see how it goes and good luck to Kyle. Be sure and subscribe guys. If you missed the vlog from Vegas from the last couple days, be sure and check that out on your screen now. I think you'll love it, especially if you like this. Leave a like down below and leave me a comment. The furthest that you've ever traveled for a bowling tournament, whether it's been all across the country or maybe in another state or maybe overseas. Um, you know, so let me know, guys, and I'll be interested to hear from you. I always like hearing from you guys. So uh, see you guys later. Have a good one. God bless. We are at Lake Tahoe, Kyle, and we officially are wrapping up the vlog. Um, man, what a drive it was out here. It's Thursday morning, I leave, uh, my flight leaves in a couple of hours, so we figured why not come out here to gorgeous Lake Tahoe? And let me tell you, it has not disappointed so far. It is. It was a gorgeous drive, and it is absolutely beautiful out here. It's like 67 degrees and a little bit of wind, but it is perfect. The water is beautiful and the mountains are glorious. And there's so much snow on the top of the mountains. There's snow in the back. You can literally, there is snow behind me. That's crazy. And we drove through the desert to get here. But it's so awesome. I love it so much. Be sure to subscribe, guys, for the next one. And uh, Kyle and I will be seeing you later. Yeah, we will.